Howdy folks, welcome back to World of Tanks with the Mighty Jingles. It's another LOL compilation, because I know you guys love them. This here is RRS General 18, or just General 18. He's in his T-34 Tier 8 Premium American Heavy Tank. And when I say heavy tank, this thing can weigh up to 71 tonnes, depending on equipment fitted. Right, this is a seriously large piece of metal. And he's got himself into a sneaky little hold down position here. That I've never seen anybody use before. The frontal turret armour of that thing is absolutely monstrous. So that's that's a good little ambush spot for anything coming over the top of the hill. However, there are three artillery in this game. If you get spotted there, things could get hot very, very quickly. Well, suddenly, a wild IS-3 appears. Now, the IS-3 is a Tier 8 Russian heavy tank. But it's not really a very heavy, heavy tank. The IS-3 only weighs 50 tonnes. So he takes a good old hit there from the T-34. And then I think that was some artillery going in. And that's somebody else's shooting at him. There's a Type 59 up there peppering his flank. and General 18 keeps spotting him. Oh, we missed that shot. The aiming time on the T-34's gun is pretty bad. And the is is thinking, screw you guys. <laughs> I'm going home. Artillery takes a pot shot at General 18, he goes around, takes one hit from the IS-3, puts a shot into him. Didn't do any damage, I think I might have hit his ammo rack, possibly killed a crewman. And he backs up. Now, remember, 70 ton tank, 50 ton tank. 50 ton tank on 113 health. Is he really? Is he? <laughs> Look at that. No damage taken. Nothing. Well, maybe the light tank will do a better job of it. <laughs> what were you thinking? <laughs> I mean, really? A 2801 weighs, I don't know, what, 20 tons? 20, just, just what? No. No, you ram artillery with those things. Not T-34s. <laughs> oh, this just turned into one of those games. I'm going to speed things up here because the uh, the lollage isn't over. There's an enemy Yak Panther 2 on top of that hill. And uh, when he sees this T-34 pop up behind him, he's uh, he has a cunning plan. <laughs> Doesn't quite turn out to be as cunning as he at first thought it was. Where is he? There he is. Takes a hit. Is lucky not to die from that. Thinks, screw you guys. <laughs> I'm diving off the edge of the cliff. Well, it worked. But, um, yeah, that's a lake. <laughs> Keep an eye on chat. <laughs> Yak Panther 2 is lost in battle. And check out down here. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, at least he saw the funny side. <laughs> Here's Hell's Brigade in his T-50-2, having... Well, I'm going to be honest, a pretty awful game. His team are just not doing very well at all. But he's spotted a gap in the line, and he's taken advantage of it to go hunting artillery. He's on 95% health, 529 health left. Where are you, little arty? Now, in this clip, you get not one, but two lols. Ah, there's the Hummel. And... Hell's Brigade seems to be suffering from a minor case of the jingles, because you can shoot at artillery, you can penetrate, but you're not allowed to do any damage. And uh, Hell's Brigade has a little bit of a pants-on-head moment himself here. He's, I'm going to get you, little arty. I'm going to circle you, little... Oh, shit, who put that lake there? <laughs> and now he's struggling to get out. And, and, and here's... Here's the other lol. Now, the thing you have to realise, a lot of artillery drivers, when they get themselves into this sort of situation, they go into full-on headless chicken blind panic mode, and they forget two very, very important things. This Hummel only has 280 health, and that gun that he fires has ammunition that does what we call splash damage. And if you shoot at something with that big old gun, oh hell, you know what's coming. <laughs> yeah, you, you you probably want to let him get a little bit further away before you do that next time. 
Hell's Brigade can't believe he's still alive. <laughs> Here's Zumba in his SU-152. He's now the last man on his team. That Hellcat up there has a cunning plan. Only it's not quite as cunning as he thinks it is. <laughs> Noob! <laughs> oh, you got to love it. You know... Sometimes you, you watch the way people drive their tanks and I, you, you just wonder what what are you thinking? What, what, how, how did you manage to get a tier 9 tank? What's that E75? He's just driven within 50 metres of me. So not only has he proximity spotted me, that ISA takes a shot at me. They know I'm here. And I imagine what's going through his mind sounds something like this. Her Ba derp 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 derp. Oh, it's a nice day for a drive, isn't it? Yeah. Herp -a -derp -derp. Oh, can you hear a banging noise? There's uh, something going on at the back of the tank. Um, oh, it's a little French tank. Oh, isn't he nice? Oh, he wants to play with me. <laughs> what are you doing? Just, I, you know, I, I just, I don't even know what's going on sometimes. Next up, we've got uh, Cutie in his T28, a tier 4 Russian medium thing. I never played the T28. I think I made my way up the Russian medium tank line via the A20. Long, long time ago. That was painful. <laughs> anyway. Hmm, I spy a Covenanter on top of the bridge. Oh, and there's an A20 up there as well. Well, we got this really good 57mm. What the hell was that? The Covenant? Do you see how slow that shot went? I think the Covenant is using the howitzer. This 57mm gun is really good. As you can see. But this isn't the funny part. No, no, no. Now that Covenant is a one shot kill. The A20 up there as well. Look at him. Trolling his platoon mates on here. No, bugger off, my kill, go away. Ah, his, his platoon mate nails the Covenant already. Anyway. Starts getting some shots in on that Panzer III. And then. Panzer III gets into cover. Oh, more targets. Come on. I don't know why these guys aren't turning around and shooting, but hey. <laughs> Never interrupt the enemy when they make a mistake. Now, yeah, <laughs> and they're both thinking it. <laughs> yeah, go on. Oh no! Oh, I need to get. I need to make sure I get this angle right. Need to, need to get it exactly perfect. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> and uh, it will just kill the Covenanter as well. <laughs> God damn you, Covenanter! <laughs> Totally worth it. This is uh, Hashashin. He's driving his AT-8. It's British Tier 6 tank destroyer. Lots and lots of armour at the front. Lots and lots of armour at the sides. Lots and lots of armour at the rear as well. And it's a it's a heavy machine. It weighs 40 tonnes. Yeah, 40 tonnes at Tier 6. That's pretty heavy. Good gun. 17 pounder gun. Not bad. It's just not very fast. And there are a lot of frustrated rammers driving British tank destroyers because they've got two of the three boxes ticked they just don't have the speed and that makes them a very sad and frustrated bunch because they badly want to ram things but they have to rely on the stupidity of enemy tank drivers in order to get their ramming lols and basically that means seeing if the enemy is stupid enough to try to ram you so he's just about to nail this Hellcat who thinks that sitting right in front of a 17 pounder gun is a smart place to be and this 3001H is thinking, screw this, I'm not just going to sit here getting shot at. Geronimo! 3001H is probably doing 50 kph coming down here. Oh, dead. Did six damage. <laughs> now, that 3001P up there, he's a 35 ton tank and he can do 50 kph. In fact, I think he can do 60 kph. 
I'm sure I'll be corrected in the comments. But he can he can get some speed up. Oh, suddenly a wild T-49 appears and does absolutely no damage whatsoever. Oh, oh, here comes the 3001P. 487 health left. Can he do it? Can he do it? Nope, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Victim number two. <laughs> now, that T-49 is obviously getting very frustrated. Um, and he's just watched two fast medium tanks kill themselves driving into the front of this AT-8. But, I don't know, maybe he thinks his shit doesn't stink. <laughs> maybe he's special. I mean, Hashashin only has 63 health left. Maybe this is your moment, Mr. T-49. Maybe this is... this is You're going to be a star on YouTube. You're going to... No. <laughs> you're dead too. <laughs> That's three. It's not going to be four, is it? Really? Four times in one game? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> well... <laughs> Well, on the bright side, <laughs> at least the Panzer 38 killed him. But yeah, I don't know. I just can't. Get, I just can't help get the feeling that people are doing it wrong. Right. So let's try and see if we can get this ramming thing sorted out at last, shall we? Oh, there's a 1375. He weighs all of 14 tons. He's going to have a go. He's going to have a go. He's, I have you now, Yankee Dog. Oh shit. <laughs> Who put that tree there? <laughs> no, we do not accept your surrender. <laughs> Next! <laughs> this is Dime 1357 and his buddy in their Centurion 7 Ones in a tier 10 game on El Halouf. He's already put a couple of shots into an IS-7 up there. Oh, and that's the IS-7 getting return fire on him. And it's a few sneaky shots into that lever. Set some, somebody set some on fire. Now pay attention to that KV-4, okay? That KV-4 is going to be important later. He's still up there, but he's backing off. So, a couple of minutes go by. These guys are still pinned down by all those enemies on the ridge line. You know, the, the usual camping position up at the top there. There's an IS-7 up there. There's there's a Jag Panther, uh, Jag Panther 2 up there. And they can't really leave the cover of this rock until those enemy tanks get softened up a little and persuaded to move. You can see the fire's still coming in. This is a decidedly unhealthy place to be. I mean, at least artillery can't hit them here, but they're, they're stuck. They can't get out of there. It would be nice if somebody could light up their guys on top of the ridge. 121 up there made a very bold scouting run. But he's pinned down and taken fire. There they go. Yak Panther 2. Oh, look. There's that KV-4 again. wonder what he's up to. Well, another few seconds go by, and KV-4 drivers, like KV-5 drivers, they're very, very heavy slabs of Russian steel. They, they weigh 100 tonnes or more. And when they're going downhill, these things can get up to a good 40 to 50 kilometres per hour. And a KV-4 barrelling downhill towards them is, is often the last thing a tank driver sees. And this KV-4 driver has obviously seen the videos on YouTube with Epic KV-4 downhill ramming replays <laughs> and he's, he's bless him he's gonna have a go <laughs> these two guys are going hello well yeah what on earth is he doing <laughs> okay <laughs> may as well kill him then <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that supposed to be? <laughs> Look at the chat. 
he's, a, he's actually had to reverse back into cover. He couldn't control his tank. He was laughing so hard. <laughs> I've, I've, oh, God, I'm going to need a minute here. That was epic. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Son, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> All right, clearly people are still getting confused by this whole ramming business. So here's Lowly Human Cub, and he's going to show us how it's done. Now that is a KV-5, Russian Heavy Premium Tier 8 tank. The gun's garbage, but who needs a gun when you've got a 100-ton tank that can do over 40 kilometers per hour going downhill? Super Pershing, 50 tons. IS-8, 50 tons. <laughs> That's how you do it. All right, Super Pershing, you only weigh 50 tons. KV-5, 100 tons. All you're going to do is ram yourself to death. Okay, ready? We'll show you again. IS-8, 50 tons. KV-5, 100 tons. Clear? K. Glad we've all got it now. AMX-39 is a dangerous little buggers. They get around you with that auto loader and they can cause you a whole lot of problems. Oh, speaking of problems. Oh, here it comes. We're in trouble here. Alright, we need to get out of here, but I can't let that 1390 get away. Here's how you deal with AMX 1390s. Yeah, you're coming with me, sunshine. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to the Mighty Jingles, driving the T-54 showcasing the Red Army Joint Formation Flying Team. There's some big juicy tanks over there. That T-34 down there, that's an easy kill. But how can I possibly get him from up here? You know what's coming, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to cliff dive. Da -da 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 -da. Boom! Headshot! <laughs> totally worth it. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, it cost me an ammo rack. I don't care. Come on team, finish off that T-34 for me. Good man, good man. Hello. We've got a T-34 up there. He's looking frustrated and jealous. There's a very juicy looking AMX 1390 down there for him. Is he going to have a go? Go on, have a go. And... No, you're doing it wrong. You're supposed to shoot him before you hit the ground. Watch, do you want to see it again? Here we go. Yeah! Remember, he has to die before you hit the ground. It's all in the wrist. Anyway, folks, I hope you've enjoyed that little compilation of some of the funnier moments of World of Tanks. As always, take care on that battlefield, and I'll catch you next time.